Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video! Two new events went live yesterday. Bethesda is trying not to delay the Wastelanders DLC and new hacks have emerged. Let me present you another 11 news that you should know right now. So, the coronavirus or COVID-19 virus is turning the world upside down. Hundreds of events have been cancelled all over the world and millions of people are now on quarantine or lockdown, therefore forced to work remotely. I hope you guys are doing alright considering everything that has been happening lately. In this video, I will show you how Bethesda is trying to stick to their original schedule to release the Wastelanders DLC on April 7. Anyway, two new community events are now live, the mystery item saga continue, and you can now find Fallout 76 on Steam. On the other hand, new hacks have emerged and players are creating their own quests. They are also stacking up on treasure maps and toilet paper. Find out why. Let's go over the news one by one. There were some rumors that Bethesda might delay the Wastelanders DLC again due to the coronavirus implications. I have seen comments indicating the DLC will indeed get delayed, but I am yet to see a solid source. On the other hand, Bethesda has made an official statement a few days ago, which basically says most of their workforce now has the ability to work remotely and they plan to keep operating as normal does following their current schedule. But the unexpected is also a possibility and if the worst eventually happens, Bethesda will do their best to communicate any changes to the current release dates. Now, this is a very clear letter, it's ensuring the public they plan to stick to their current release dates, but it also means these same dates could change at any time. I would say there is a 50-50 chance right now. Therefore, don't be surprised if they end up delaying the Wastelanders DLC a few more weeks. After all, their work environment has changed. There are surely new challenges and limitations with remote work. Plus, there are staff members who are not able to work remotely as stated in the letter. For now, let's hope they are able to stick with the April 7 release date. A few days ago, on March 17, Bethesda released a hotfix with no downtime to fix two issues. As usual, they were very vague with their post. I wish they could be a little more detailed. But then again, talking about cheats and glitches does no good to anyone. Anyhow, the hotfix notes were posted on Bethesda's forum and it states that they have fixed an issue that could cause the Bethesda client to crash and they have also fixed an exploit. Which one? Nobody seems to know. Either way, this was a performance and stability hotfix and it's always great to see those going live. I mean, it is surely better than no fixes at all, in my opinion. Don't you agree? The mystery items are still live and we are now on the fourth entry in the Atomic Shop. However, five items have been released so far. One of the entries unlocked two items at once. It seems to be the third entry, at least according to the data mine details on Reddit. The first item was the plastic Nukashine beer hat. Then we had the cask Nukashine keg, followed by the third entry with the short and tall pony Nukashine kegs. The fourth entry, live right now, unlocks the half barrel Anuka Shine keg, and the upcoming fifth entry will unlock two more things the Anuka Shine wallpaper and the Anuka Shine player icon, which will go live tomorrow, March 21. I think this was a great touch to the Atomic Shop, something fresh and different. Plus, it unlocks free items with tears. It's really not a bad idea at all. What do you guys think? Would you like to see? More community events like this one? I surely would like to. Another mount, another Purveyor event. It seems like we are getting a one every new mount now, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just common by now, I would say. Anyway, this is a 25% off sale event for all the legendary entries at the Purveyor, and it lasts five days, as usual, from the 19th to the 23rd of March. 
However, there seems to be an issue with the sale. Yesterday, several players reported that the Prevere was not showing any sale. Bethesda has been working on the issue and they said this is a problem affecting only a few servers. They have also mentioned this is a display bug, so in the end it might show the original script price, but once you buy an entry, it will deduce the discount and you won't pay the displayed original price. If you see this bug, just change servers until you find one that shows the correct script price, just to be safe. Bethesda also said they might not be able to fully fix this issue until Monday, so that's pretty much all you can do for now. I hope the tip was useful, good luck with the Prevere rolls. Bethesda has just released another double experience weekend and it's a surprise one. They hadn't announced it before, so it was quite unexpected in my opinion, but that's a good thing in different ways. First, because you get to level up faster, and second, because this probably means we are getting the triple experience event as well when the Wastelanders DLC gets released. They didn't include it on their roadmap, but several players have been receiving emails mentioning this mysterious triple experience event. So now it's the perfect time to level up more, create a new character and prepare for all the new content coming live in a few weeks. Don't forget to take full advantage of this event by boosting your experience gain up to 200%. It makes leveling so much faster and easier. Well, guess what? You can now find the Fallout 76 entry on Steam. It has been live for about a week now and that's a positive thing. You still can't purchase the game there, but everything else seems to be in place already. The entry seems to be complete with all the generic and required details you usually see on Steam game pages. Keep in mind that the Steam version will go live on the same day as The Wastelanders, on April 7, so until then you won't be able to access it, even if you are able to pre-order at some point. Anyway, don't forget your current atoms and memberships won't carry on from the Bethesda client. As such, make sure to get more information before transitioning to Steam, if you are planning to do so, of course. Okay, so there is a new hack that supposedly allows users to change the appearance of other characters into anything you can imagine. From the source footage here, it seems like the person is spamming the randomized command, but it's also breaking the rules or boundaries of character customization. I mean, you cannot create characters that thin or that fat right now, or even with such big heads. This hacker is basically creating a monster characters and that's not cool. At least it's not an inventory thief hack, so that's a plus, I guess. Anyway, it is unknown if this hack has gone public or not, but if you eventually notice that your character has a different appearance, then you will know what happened. It would be a real hassle if this happens, because it can take a long time to personalize characters. Heck, I don't think I would know how to recreate my characters at all. I could get close, but I don't think I could get an exact copy again. I believe it would be the same for most of you, so let's hope this hack is really not public and that Bethesda manages to fix it before it does. Keep fingers crossed. Have you ever heard about legendary power armor pieces in Fallout 76? I didn't even know they existed until a few days ago. But it doesn't really surprise me, it seems like hackers are again creating items that shouldn't exist in game, and they are even selling them to other players, as shown by this player over Reddit. He found this protocol, the Brotherhood of Steel a Legendary T60 armor being sold. It even had the perfect legendary effect. It reminds me of the hacked items made months ago, like legendary backpacks, rings and even armor types that have not been released yet, like the cage armor. As far as I know, most hacked items like these got removed from the game before, so it seems like Bethesda has homework to do again. These items need to be deleted as soon as possible. If you find such items, I highly advise you not to buy them. 
because you can easily get banned for owning items that shouldn't exist in game that are clearly made by hackers and can potentially flag you as one. Just a word of advice. In the last news video, I reported that players are role-playing more and creating their own social events and gatherings. Now, it seems like some groups are going one step forward. They are now creating player-oriented quests like escort missions. For example, this group of players decided to challenge themselves by creating their own mission. One of the members became wanted on purpose. He became the high-value target to be protected. They managed to lure lots of other players who obviously wanted to take down the wanted player and claim his bounty. The wanted guy eventually died, so they were not able to complete the escort mission. However, this is a very interesting way to stimulate player engagement and initiate PvP too. It also breaks the monotony while we wait for the Wastelanders DLC to go live. I know that a lot of people are extremely bored right now, so this could be a fine idea to create your own player events or missions to keep busy, engaged and of course have some fun during the process. That's very important. Something curious I have recently discovered is that some players are now farming, buying and saving lots of treasure maps. I have recently created a new guide with 15 ways to prepare for the Wastelanders DLC and one of the top suggestions to complement my guide was about saving treasure maps. Why? Well, because they have a chance to reward you rare plants, and as you surely know, there will be most likely lots of new items and plants once the new DLC goes live. That's a smart move indeed. I have also seen a higher demand for treasure maps lately. Yes, I usually sell them in case you didn't know. As soon as I add some up on my vending machine, they get sold out in a matter of minutes. So yeah, people are really getting ready for the Wastelanders in all sorts of ways, and that's really a great thing. Let's talk about toilet paper now, for real. People have been hoarding this item in real life for reasons I can't really understand. There are lots of theories trying to justify plain herd mentality, but there is no real logical explanation. That's the sad truth. By the way guys, quit buying toilet paper unless you really need it. There are also showers and bidets, you know? Yeah, it seems like this fact has become a meme in some games like Fallout 76, where players are also farming toilet paper and selling it for thousands of caps. The gaming media is all covering this, there are dozens of news already and it's hilarious. I mean, it's great for a good laugh in game, but that's pretty much about it. Who's going to buy toilet paper for 25k caps? Seriously? Well, I know this is true because I've seen a few players selling it, like this guy selling toilet paper for 5000 caps each. Well, hail the memes and please stop buying it in real life. You don't need 50 units of toilet paper. Don't get scared to get sick with a dirty butt. Worry about protecting yourself instead. Dear Lord. What bugs have I recently found this time? Well, it seems like you can add plushies to chairs and then sit on them and the toys will clip over your character. Players can also get stuck in their power armor frames as seen in here. The player duplication bug is getting more common these days, I have recently seen it myself too. But something new I saw this week was bugged camp icons in the map, like this one. It stayed there forever, it had no owner's name, I couldn't fast travel to it, I even checked it during different times and the icon didn't get updated ever. That was quite strange. Moving on, my game is now bugging out 24-7 with this display dimension issue. The game tab keeps getting smaller and changing my monitor's resolution whenever I alt tap or almost every time. I need to restart it more often now and it's really annoying. 
I also experienced the black screen bug twice in the past three days where you can only see your interface and you can also lose your sound. Yuck, this one is the worst bug you can get in terms of display bugs, I think. Well, that's all the major bugs I got for you today. It has been a strange week in terms of news for Fallout 76. Anyway, it's always a pleasure to keep you guys and girls informed. Do you think I missed any major point this week? Do let me know in the comments. For now, I should spend my 2k script at the Prevere and level up my alt a little bit in preparation for the Wastelanders. I advise you to do the same, if you can, of course. I'm a bit worried about the new hugs, so playing on private worlds is really not a bad idea. I also hope the Wastelanders won't get delayed again. Let's see what happens in the following days. Anyway, I am Marta Branco. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new around, consider subscribing for more content like this. If you wish to help me further, then consider becoming a member here or unlocking one of my Patreon tiers. The links are always below the video. I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Until then, take care. Adios. Bye-bye.